The Apple Weather app has gained a new module that provides information on the average temperature and precipitation for any given location at any time of year. Here on this iPhone, I have my current location visible in the Weather app. And over on the iPad, I'm going to bring up Daytona Beach, Florida. The Weather app provides a ton of information within all these modules, which when tapped on provide even more details. Scroll towards the bottom, and we now have an averages module, which displays how much today's temperature will vary from the average high. And below, we're shown the average high and low temperature for today in each location. Tap on this averages module, and we get a chart of the typical temperature range for the current day. Tap and drag to view the current or predicted temperature for today and the average range at any given time. Scroll down and we're able to view the monthly high and low averages for the selected location, which can be really great for travel planning. There's also a good explainer here of how these numbers are generated. Scroll back up to the top and we have a precipitation tab. This chart displays how much above or below average the amount of precipitation received in the last 30 days is for each location. Scroll down for monthly average precipitation. Again, very useful for deciding when you might want to go to a certain destination. If you're researching a location that isn't currently saved in your weather app, the averages module is still visible. I'll search for Tokyo, Japan here on the iPad. And within the pop-up, we have the averages module. Tap and we can view the averages and climate information for Tokyo. The averages module will show the same information on your weather app for Mac as well. So if you don't need to know the current weather for a certain location, but you want to get an idea of what it's typically like at a certain time of year, head into the Averages module of the Apple Weather app.